This is big news. The 49ers just opened the practice windows for Robert Beal Jr., Samuel Womack, and Darrell Luter Jr. This means that the Niners have three weeks to get these guys ready to go uh, off of IR or physically unable to perform list in Darrell Luter Jr.'s case. So they're not ready to play yet, but they're getting prepared to play. And let's focus on the two cornerbacks, Womack and Luter Jr. Like, Robert Beal, probably not going to make an impact this year. The Niners have a bunch of edge rushers. They just added Chase Young and Randy Gregory, so not him. Let's talk about the corners. Womack, Luter Jr. We were talking, why did the Niners not trade for a cornerback at the deadline? Why did they go after Chase Young instead? Well, because clearly they're counting on one or both of these two young corners to come back. And if you don't know who they are, Samuel Womack was, on the t was drafted last year, played all of training camp, and had some good days. He's fast, he's a little small, and he's very aggressive. And when he gets beat deep, he tends to get beat deep, but he's right there. And although he, I have some misgivings about how good he really is, he's better than Ambry Thomas and Isaiah Oliver. I do believe that. And then also Darrell Luter Jr., he's a rookie. The Niners got him in the fifth round this year. Hard to say what he is or if he could contribute because he missed all of training camp. He had no training camp. He got hurt in mini camp, hurt his knee. I don't see how you throw a rookie who's missed all of the, the training camp preseason and regular season onto the field and say, make us better. Although again, all you have to do is be better than Ambry Thomas or, or, and, Eliza, and uh, Isaiah Oliver, which is a low bar, an extremely low bar. So curious to see what Luter Jr. He's bigger, six foot one, built Samuel Womack a lot smaller. But I think in a few weeks, you're gonna see Samuel Womack on the outside, Diamador Lenore in the slot, and Traverius Ward outside. And then maybe, just maybe, Steve Wilkes will stop playing his cornerbacks three miles off the line of scrimmage, and he'll actually play some press man coverage, which is what they're gonna have to do to beat the Jaguars this week because no one's better at beating zone coverage than Trevor Lawrence. So we'll see what happens. Keep an eye out for Darrell Luter Jr., Samuel Womack, and Robert Bates.